Okay. You can take mine. I grab one of the back. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. So on that uh, on that data sheet, there is a map of the United States. There's also Ben Snowfall data. We're going to reanalyze that later. We'll get that on Tuesday, I think. Or, yeah, today's Thursday. Tuesday. Uh, oh, thank you, Jay. Thank you. So what I want you to do is I want you to look at that map of the U.S. I'm going to apologize for the, uh, the size of Alaska and Hawaii. Alaska is far too small and Hawaii is far too big. But it fit okay on the piece of paper, so I apologize to any Alaskans in the room. Um, I want you to figure out how many states you have visited. Let's define what a visit is. Yep. Yeah. Good, good statisticians, like, wait a minute. If, I think this will do, we argued about this yesterday quite a bit. If you have either stood in a state or been in a vehicle or a building that has touched the ground of that state, it counts as a visit. Okay, okay let's say that again. Wait, what's the matter with that, Rachel? So, like, if you're doing a road trip, you yes. basically count every single state. That you drove through. I was assuming if you went and, like, stayed there. Well, the thing is, though, think about driving through a state like Colorado. Do you actually drive straight through? Or do you most likely stop and look around a place? You gotta pee, you gotta get gas, you get food. Yeah, so, it's not. Well, careful, that's how we have to define visit, right? This is where statistics gets tricky, right? I'm not talking about visit like sightseeing visit. I'm trying to make a very general definition of visit. It gets too hard to metric what a visit is then. Okay, fine. Car is okay. But like, <laughs> if you're in the airport, like, I haven't really been to Illinois, but I've stopped in the O'Hare. You've seen enough. So then, technically, I've seen the. I've seen enough. It's okay. I would. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Go back to Chicago. It's wonderful. Count it. Count it. Just, just for definitional purposes, Rachel. I understand it's pissing you off. It's okay. I totally get it. I appreciate that. But just for definitional purposes. Okay? It just becomes easier to over, and then we can refine it later if this were actually meaningful data. But it's not anyway, so it's okay. I'm just trying to get some numbers on the board. 